Hi everyone, it's going to be an exciting day as we take you on an exploration of the little known parts of the north, places you have not seen or visited before. Uncover ongoing and upcoming pivotal developments in and around the north. Hi, I'm Jason and together with my colleagues, we are going to share fun facts and bring you places you can visit on weekends with your family or even on dates for the adventurers. Hi everyone, I'm Mark. Welcome to Woodlands Jetty. How well do you really know about Woodlands? For most of us, Woodlands is an Ulu place. However, Woodlands is actually a buzzing location now. In case you don't know, there is an emblematic restaurant right on the jetty and this is very rare in Singapore. Come on down and check it out if you have not done so. This is a fantastic location for enjoying the best view of Malaysia Johor Strait. Malaysia is a major trading partner for Singapore. In 2019, Singapore imported 56.14 billion Singapore dollars worth of merchandise from our neighbour. Malaysia, particularly Johor, remains a very important trading partner of Singapore. Looking to the right here, where the construction crane is, this will be the start of the RTS track from Singapore to Johor Bahru. That is an important link. 300,000 people are going to cross here every day between the two countries. This is a 4km track that will connect Woodlands North MRT Station to Johor Bahru Bukit Chaga Station in just 5 minutes, costing Singapore 3.25 billion. Constructions on this RTS link is currently underway and expected to be completed in 2026, transforming Woodlands into the star of the North. Personally, I'm looking forward to having lunch in JB with enough time to return to our Wood Square office after a feast. Hi, I'm Robin, standing at Woodlands South MRT right now, where the new Woodlands Health Campus will be located. As you can see on the map here, I'm standing right outside this exit. You can see that the health campus will have their own dedicated MRT exit within the campus when built. As we walk down Woodlands Drive 16, we can see Christchurch Secondary School on the left and Masjid Yusof Ishak Mosque on the right. And at the back of us is the Woodlands Health Campus. Here are some quick facts on the Woodlands Health Campus. It is walking distance to Woodlands South MRT. It is the first hospital facility in Woodlands and will cater to half a million people in the north, which includes approximately 243,000 residents staying in Woodlands, as well as those staying at Lantau and Upper Thomson areas, access the area via Thomson East Coast Line. Most of us may not know this, but Woodlands has the highest number of HDB residents in Singapore. Once completed, the campus will have seven storeys with 1,800 beds, which will consist of A&E, community hospital, specialist clinics, just as a comparison, Tan Tok Seng has only 1,700 beds, so it will be big once it's completed. The whole campus will cover a site area of 7.66 hectares or about 820,000 square feet. This is the equivalent of about 11 football fields. The campus will rely heavily on smart technology and artificial intelligence, especially in the administrative aspect. National Parks Board even have several gardens specially designed for the campus, providing access and to encourage interaction with a natural environment. The health campus is slated to open progressively from 2023. Hi everyone, I'm Chris here. So driver, fear not, what is being installed for us? So just to proud to let you know that we are upcoming expressway. So now, currently, I'm standing at one of the many construction sites for the new, new highway called North-South Corridor. So this new South Corridor is a 26km span all the way from Gambas North to the Central Business District. And proud to say, this is the 11th expressway in Singapore. So why is it called North-South Corridor and not an expressway instead? So with this North South Corridor, not only it features the driving lane, but it also features the bus route and also the cycling tracks. So for this new North South Corridor, it will cut down travelling time from 30 to 20 minutes all the way from North to Central Business District. As a driver myself, I'll be super excited in 2026 when North South Corridor will be completed. I know your driver will be excited as well. Hi, I'm Chi Yao. Today, I would like to share one of the most exciting news that's happening in Woodlands. I'm currently standing at the Global Foundries campus. This site is currently undergoing constructions located at Woodlands Industrial Park. If you don't know yet, last year 2021, Singapore announced that the chip giant Global Foundries has invested 5.4 billion to build a new plant here in Singapore. In other words, Global Foundries puts 5.4 billion into Singapore expansion. So the good news is, 
This new plan is expected to create 1,000 jobs for Singapore. Of these 1,000 jobs, 95% will be for high-value jobs such as equipment technicians, process technicians, engineers, and many more. According to our Minister in Charge of Trade Relations, Mr. S. Iswaran, Global Foundry's expansion will also contribute many more employment opportunities through the supporting ecosystem of suppliers, contractors, and service providers. All in all, Global Foundries has committed 12 billion in fixed asset investment in Singapore, and this is one of the largest investments in recent years. The new FAP here is currently under construction, but is expected to be ready in January 2023 and will ramp up to full capacity by early 2024. In the bigger picture, this is really a good news for Singapore as well as Woodlands. Not only will this billion dollar investment will bring more job opportunities to Singapore, but will also transform Woodlands to a bustling town. Finally, I just want to share that Global Foundry Factory is only five minute drive from Woodlands Regional Center. Hi everyone, I'm Raymond. I'm now at Sungai Adot on the rooftop of Transface, which is one of the tallest buildings built by JTC for furniture and related industries. As you can see, Sungai Gado houses most of the timber, furniture, construction, waste management industries in Singapore. Just to better orientate you, and on the right, you can see Gain City building, and on the left is Nut Centre, which is located at Sungai Gado Loop. Being one of Singapore's oldest industrial estates, Sungai Gado, which occupies almost 500 hectares of land, will be revamped to support the transformation of traditional manufacturing industries as well as new growth sectors such as agri-tech and environmental technology over the next 20 to 30 years progressively. According to JTC, more than 50 companies have already confirmed interest in moving into the new industrial facilities which spend about 3.4 million square feet and cost nearly 650 million in total. JTC also have plans to develop Sungai Gado by bringing together high-tech urban indoor farming and research and development activities, including indoor plant factories, insect farms, and animal feed production facilities. In short, the Agri-Food Innovation Park at Sungai Gado will catalyze innovation in the agri-tech ecosystem. And not to forget, there will be a new Sungai Gado MRT station built between Kranji and UT station along the North South Line with an interchain station linking to Downtown Line as well. This MRT station will effectively serve commuters that regularly travel to and from Chosukang and the upcoming industrial developments such as TMAC, Agri-Food Innovation Park and the present trans phase. This station is expected to be ready by mid-2030s. Hi everyone, I'm Kenneth and right now I'm at Basement 2 of Wood Square Tower 2 which houses a key air-conditioned underground basement link connecting Wood Square to both Woodland Civic Centre and Causeway Point. So on the right is Woodland Civic Centre, which houses banks such as UOB, DBS and Standard Chartered to support you in your banking needs. There is also a post office, library, supermarket, F&B, enrichment centre, as well as medical and dental clinics. This entire walkway is part of Wood Square Retail with plenty of F&B options such as Sanuk Kitchen which sells Thai food, Sui Heng Bakery, Milk Sha for bubble tea as well as services such as Yuan Sang TCM, Q&M Dental and QB House. This escalator behind me leads us to Causeway Point as well as the Woodlands Integrated Transport Hub which houses an air-conditioned bus interchange as well as an MRT line for both the Thomson East Coast Line and the North-South Line. Hello everyone, I am Jen Lee and right now we are at the Woodlands Integrated Transport Hub. Do you know that the Woodlands Integrated Transport Hub is two and a half times as large as the Topayo Integrated Transport Hub? It is 41,000 square meters and it has 25 buses operating right at this transport hub. It has been operating since June 2021 and commuters can now access the bus terminal and the two MRT lines conveniently and comfortably with this sheltered air-conditioned linkway. Currently, there are nine MRT stations in the Thomson East Coast Line from Woodland Station to Caldercourt Station and by end of 2022, it will also bring you to Gardens by the Bay. Another thing to look forward to is the upcoming Rapid Transit System link. This RTS link will offer comfortable and easy commute to Malaysia. Commuters will just have to take a stop from Woodland Station to Woodlands North of Thomson East Coast Line and it will be a 5-minute quick train ride to the first stop of Johor Bahru called Bukit Chaga Station. 
This RTS link is expected to cost around 3.25 billion Singapore dollars and it is scheduled to be completed by end of 2026. Food Square is just a few minutes' walk from the transport hub. Link via Linkways bring connectivity and convenience to you. I'm thankful for the ease of transport as my office is at Wood Square and it has been a breeze for me to commute and I hope to see you here soon. Hi everyone, I'm Albert here. Welcome to our Tower 1 Level 8 show unit. This is a 657 square feet unit with a special layout including a director room. This workspace can accommodate up to 10 persons. Right from the entrance, there is a reception counter which flows to a discussion space up to 3 to 4 persons. This is a working space for 6 persons and next to it is a director's room. The units available for sale right now ranges from 560 square feet to 20,000 plus square feet for the entire floor. Our floor to floor height is set 4.2 meter high, creating a more spacious feeling. All the units have centralized water chill air condition operating from 8 am to 8 pm Monday to Saturday. In terms of view, it is very good. Far ahead, that is Malaysia Johor Bahru. We can see some high rise buildings there. Nearer to us is the North South Line MRT right below and the biggest bus interchange in Singapore. You might be curious about our tenant mix. We have a very good range of industries from law, accounting, consultancy, interior design and engineering firms. We welcome you to view this amazing place with us. From all of us here at Fire's Organization Business Space Team, we welcome you to our new home at Wood Square. See you soon! Yeah.